Hi friends, in this video I want to talk to you a bit about binding. I have decided to do this video because uh, in the past days um, uh, there was a bit of discussion in the internet, uh, uh, in Facebook and other pages that uh, was talking about uh, how uh, binding uh, can be overestimated or uh, the opposite binding is underestimated and uh, so I decided to do this video not to talk about this uh, different statement and different opinions but more about to uh, speak a bit about uh, how uh, to understand uh, in a better way uh, I, I suppose binding and uh, how um, binding can be um, uh, use it in a good way during the actions. Now, first of all, I want to say that uh, uh, there is no fence, can be, you can fence without bind, but fencing uh, doesn't exist without binding because it's a great part and, and a very important part of the of fencing. Now, um, first of all, I want to talk about how to understand the bind. This uh, uh, can be a strange um, uh, topic and uh, this, this can be a strange statement but not every binding action can be used, not every bind can be used for binding actions. Uh, and this is the first thing uh, you have to know. This is because uh, we need time when uh, uh, we bind uh, on, the opposite, uh, on the opponent's sword to understand what is happening. What this means? We need time between the bind and, the, uh, and our reaction that is based on, our, uh, on the time of that uh, our, uh, our brain needs to receive the information from the, from the end and uh, give back the, the actual uh, repost uh, the actual uh, answer to do the um, to do the, uh, react, the correct reaction. Now, given the fact that we uh, in this ideal case we have a, um, a ready condition and action that uh, instantly uh, comes out from the from the bind when we uh, receive the the informations, we need at least uh, at the very least 0.15 seconds to receive the uh, message, the, the information from our end, uh, receive it in our brain and uh, give back the answer to, to put in practice the, the, the reaction. So uh, this can be, a, uh, this uh, may be a little, uh, a little bit of time, but in fact it's not really uh, little as this can be uh, longer or uh, not shorter because this is the, the 0 0.15 is the minimum uh, depending on our age and on uh, our training and other different uh, things so this is really important we need uh, at least uh, some time that we will understand uh, during our training uh, this is uh, personal sometimes and um, to receive the information and put in practice the action. This can be, uh, can get better in uh, doing the training. So when we clash on uh, and uh, just cut uh, on to the opponent and uh, we clash on the opponent's sword, sometimes we don't even have the time to understand what is happening and we can't react in the bind uh, accordingly to the uh, pressure that we find because we don't have the time to understand the pressure. So this is really important to take in mind. Now um, this is a really important point for uh, binding because uh, uh, we can now understand what, where we can see a bind that, that can uh, be useful to react according to the pressure and a bind that uh, is not useful. Uh, an easy example of uh, uh, a binding 
that uh, is not useful is uh, a bind that we can uh, find doing a, an action that we have already prepared and uh, this action for example is composed from, uh, uh, by uh, two cuts one on the one side and one on the other side and we have decided that uh, we strike the first cut like a feint and then we cut the, the set, uh, on, this, on the other side. Maybe the opponent can bind on the first cut by pairing it, or we can't even uh, not bind. But uh, if the opponent bind, we don't uh, have, we don't need, of course, the the the, the, the informations because we have already uh, prepared our action. On the other way, there is. Uh, other things to say about this, uh, maybe well, we have already prepared our, our action so we can be prepared to an unexpected reaction in the meantime of the two cuts. These are the just decisions and uh, you can't, uh, uh, there is not a better thing to do. You just decide what to do. Uh, do a feint and a cut or bind and work from the bind. So this was just an example of uh, a bind that can happen and uh, is not useful to understand uh, uh, what is happening to the, the feeling, the sentiment or the fullen. A different kind of binding which is, can be uh, defined as a useful one or a bind that can be used to understand the pressure and uh, stuff is, uh, for example, uh, bind uh, the in accordance to the, uh, to the opponent. This is uh, an example that uh, sometimes can, can't be uh, uh, easy to understand, but sometimes people just uh, want to face in the bind and try to uh, let the opponent bind on uh, his sword. This can be because uh, he is uh, really good in uh, binding actions, and this is all, uh, most of the time happen in this situation, or just because he is stupid. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, not uh, uh, a good option. I, I would take. I want to take in consideration. So most of the time, people that want to bind is uh, um, very skilled in doing binding actions. And sometimes, when two people that are good in binding actions uh, find each other, they try to bind against the opponent's sword to work from the bind. Uh, in this uh, um, example, which is a binder where you can uh, uh, work from, you will uh, uh, start to, um, to, to feel what the opponent is doing. The pressure, uh, his movement on one side or the other. And uh, if you have conditioned actions, you will uh, react uh, as soon as you feel what the opponent is doing or where he's moving accordingly to, the, to, his, uh, to his movement, to his pressure. Now, uh, in this case, I have uh, uh, previously explained uh, how two people that can uh, that find each other, two good people uh, that uh, uh, are good in facing in the bind, uh, face each other, try to bind, uh, this can happen uh, uh, in a situation where one, uh, one guy is really good uh, in, uh, in binding action and offer, uh, give the, the sword, the, uh, the, the fellow, to the opponent to, um, to receive the bind, but the opponent doesn't want to fence in the bind and uh, he doesn't uh, uh, react accordingly, so he don't bind. On the other way, this opponent that doesn't want to fence in the bind because uh, he is not skilled in doing this or because he just uh, doesn't want to do, or because he knows that the opponent is really good in the bind, can do other things. One uh, ex uh, easy example is try to snipe in the hands because the opponent is have the uh, weapon extended. 
So this is one of the situations where people can see a problem in a binding action, like, uh, oh, if uh, I, uh, I try to create a bind from the, from the beginning, like, like my first uh, idea, my first uh, approach is uh, uh, trying to uh, let the opponent bind on my, on my sword, uh, the opponent can do something in this tempo and uh, for example sniping my hands on the other way the the people that is uh, giving the, the the sword to receive the bind is not uh, 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 always someone that uh, just can know this or have just this uh, simple plan sometimes he know that uh, 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 the, the opponent can snipe him uh, when he try to um, to receive the bind, and uh, if he know this, he can work uh, on the opponent action, which is the uh, sniping, and the react accordingly, and uh, maybe just hit the opponent in the tempo of the opponent action. So. Uh, the, I wanted to. Uh, I, I will show this in a video where I uh, uh, practice this uh, an example of this kind of action to better explain you this uh, concept. But this uh, is just um, a, um, an example of uh, how you can use a, a situation which some people can see just as a problem to. Uh, and transform this problem in a, an advantage. And uh, this is very related to the second uh, point I wanted to talk about. And uh, this point is uh, uh, searching or trying to find a bind can be dangerous. Yes, of course. And uh, but uh, this doesn't mean that binding is uh, just a problem or something to avoid. Now, uh, f fencing is a very complicated uh, art or science because it's composed by different. Uh, but it, it, the problem of fencing is that fencing is a basically science, and there is a lot of aspects to take in consideration: the uh, psychological one, the physical one, etc., etc. Um, so. I, uh, I will not uh, be uh, um, really complete in my explanation now because uh, there is a lot of aspects to talk about but uh, um, what I want to say is uh, if you try to, to find the, the, to, if you search the bind on the opponent's soil the opponent can react in this tempo but on the other way you can program this because fencing is also uh, try to program the opponent and uh, prevent his reactions. Now, doing this is not easy and uh, you need, uh, in a duel for example, you, you will probably need a lot of tracking to understand uh, how the opponent works without being in, in the meantime. Uh, in, um, uh, fencing uh, tournament, uh, you have different. Uh, you have a number of life to waste <laughs> to understand uh, how the opponent is uh, acting and reacting to the actions. Uh, what the opponent can prevent, what the opponent, uh, what the opponent uh, plan is, and uh, and you can work on this uh, information to build up uh, a plan which is organized in a number of actions to prevent the, uh, a number of opponent actions and reactions. So this is programming and uh, one of the... Uh, 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 our basic example is just... Uh, I have noticed that my uh, opponent is uh, uh, always... Um, uh, it fears uh, uh, big attacks like uh, a very strong uh, uh, mandrito attack uh, of uh, first intention to the head and he tend to parry without uh, doing any repost 
and so I feint my uh, big mandarito to cut on the other side. But this is the very, very basic example. Another example is an action of second intention, which is more uh, is, uh, uh, far better and more articulated than this uh, just faint and act. Uh, the second intention more or less work more or less like this. Um, I, I do the very basic example that works uh, almost with every weapon. I um, strike my opponent. My, uh, my opponent, uh, um, a trust for example, which is uh, better in this situation. My opponent parried this, uh, uh, this trust, it put it aside, he tried to hit me in the space uh, he have already uh, um, covered, in the space he have covered, but the problem is my trust was not a real trust, but just a provocation without enter that measure, so he had, he had to cover measure toward me, the measure I have not made, and I can parry and repost against the opponent on his repost. So this is a very complex action and I will show, uh, again I will show this kind of action in future videos. But this is to explain uh, what, I, what I wanted to explain with these uh, simple examples. Uh, I want to uh, I want to talk about these uh, complex actions because you can use binding and uh, uh, useful uh, binding. So uh, the binding where you feel uh, where the opponent is to uh, to do the uh, articulated actions and to prevent the uh, the opponent reaction and to program. The opponent. Now, uh, this is uh, this is, can be dangerous. You have to be uh, experienced in doing this. During the training, this uh, may um, seems at the beginning very hard or even impossible to do, but is uh, uh, it is very possible. You you can do it, and uh, um, this is one of the example where binding is very 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 good. And uh, uh, one example that, uh, uh, historical example that we can see that work in this way is uh, um, Tibolt, which uh, have a very big extension of uh, actions that work uh, more or less in, uh, with this idea, a very big number of uh, second intention, uh, intention actions if uh, um, uh, put in practice in, the, in a good way and with the good uh, uh, measures. Um, and uh, so we have the, our one of uh, the, we have our answer, which is uh, um, um, binding can be very very good and uh, very useful. It can be sometimes underestimated and sometimes can be overestimated. But uh, people that uh, uh, work better in the bind sometimes try to overestimate it. And the people who doesn't work in the, uh, doesn't work very well or doesn't work in the bind because they study other traditions like the Italian one for example, or uh, parts of the Italian one. Uh, doesn't work in the binders, so they try to uh, tend to underestimate binding actions. Or they, they just to try to use the binder uh, in the few, uh, at least as possible. So uh, I wanted uh, to just talk uh, a little bit, a little bit. I think I, I would, I have talked about uh, 20 or 25 minutes. Minutes, I don't know. Uh, about this topic because uh, it is very important that, that uh, when you approach uh, fencing, uh, uh, historical fencing, you work on both sides. I have started to work uh, um, very hard out of the bind just uh, in the last uh, one year and a half, or two years. Previously I focused uh, more in uh, binding action and uh, in the fullen the sentimento di ferro to uh, work accordingly to pressure and uh, stuff like that. 
and this is very very important to do but you have also to understand that you can fence from your guard and uh, parry big uh, cuts and uh, stuff like that because this can happen and uh, these uh, two uh, parts of the art should grow up uh, together in my opinion Okay, um, uh, I hope the, uh, my explanation was uh, um, clear uh, or to not too confusion because I have not done a, a, a program of uh, what I wanted to speak about but I, I have just gone uh, and uh, uh, talked about, talk about this topic as, uh, as much as I can in the, in the clear way as possible accordingly to my pizza pasta English and um, uh, I hope this video will help you. Remember to check my Patreon page if you want to uh, see more about my stuff. Thanks to, for watching and uh, see you next time.